<laughs> oh, <laughs> if you're looking for dinosaurs, you've come to the right place. This is the Royal Tyrrell Museum of Paleontology. It's Canada's largest museum devoted exclusively to the study of ancient life. The museum is based in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada, known as the dinosaur capital of the world. The rugged badlands of Alberta are a hotspot for uncovering Cretaceous age dinosaur remains, and the museum has been collecting, preparing, and researching these remarkable fossils since 1985. This is Boreal Apelta Mark Mitchelli, the best preserved armored dinosaur in the world. It was uncovered in our preparation lab by Mark Mitchell, who spent 7,000 hours on it, and that's why it's named after him. It was found in the oil sands where they usually only find marine stuff, but it's so well preserved out there. The skin and armor are still intact. Even the keratin on the armor is still there as well. They know what it was eating, and they even know that there was a fire around the time when it died because of what's inside its stomach. I'm gonna eat everything. I'm gonna eat it all. Not only is Boreal Pelta the best preserved armored dinosaur, it's also one of the oldest dinosaurs known from Alberta dating back to the early Cretaceous about 110 million years ago. But it's not our oldest record-breaking specimen. For that, we go to the Triassic Giant Gallery. Let's go! Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Oops. What's that? Oh, hey! This is Shonosaurus sikeniensis, the largest marine reptile ever found. And you're probably going to have to back up a bit because this thing is huge! 21 meters long. Now, ichthyosaurs, they're not dinosaurs. They're kind of like dinosaur cousins. They're marine reptiles. This was swimming around in the Triassic seas 220 million years ago. And they think it was a filter feeder, kind of like modern whale sharks, because it doesn't have any teeth. Now, when they found this thing, it was in super tough rock way up in the mountains in British Columbia, and it was really hard to collect. They had to dig it out in all these individual blocks. And this, this block here that has the skull, it weighed four and a half tons. They need helicopters to lift all of them out before they could haul them back to the museum. And look at it now. It is huge. And speaking of marine reptiles, let's check out another supersized predator that prowled Alberta's ancient seas. Oh, hey, <laughs> just hanging out in our unprepared collections here at the museum. Let's talk about our next record-breaking specimen. It was found when they were digging up this. This gemstone is called amylite, and it comes from the shell of an animal called an ammonite, which is kind of like a, a squid-like animal that lived inside this. When they were digging this up, they found an animal called an elasmosaur. Now, they didn't find the skull, but it would have looked something like this, with these sharp needle-like teeth. What they did find was a huge animal that measured 12 meters long, but its neck was more than half the length of the entire body. And it has 76 neck vertebrae or neck bones, which is the most of any animal alive or extinct. Even a giraffe only has seven bones in its neck, just like us. It has so many neck bones, it is in fact a Guinness World Record holder now for the most neck vertebrae. Oh, that's where I left it, that's right. This here is the best preserved ornithomimid ever found. A bird mimic dinosaur that roamed Alberta 76 million years ago. Its discovery in Dinosaur Provincial Park back in 1995 was completely by accident. This excellent preservation also meant that some soft tissue was preserved as well. The pose that this dinosaur is in is called the epistatonic posture or death pose. The museum has several exquisite skeletons preserved in the same way, including our last record-breaking specimen. This Gorgosaurus labratus skeleton is the most intact Tyrannosaurus skeleton ever found. And in fact, it's official, we've got a Guinness record for it. Right here. Gorgosaurus is like a smaller, earlier cousin of T-Rex. And most people think you always find skeletons like this, but we usually don't. Something like this is incredibly rare, means the animal had to be buried very quickly after death. We hope that someday you'll have a chance to visit the Royal Tyrrell Museum of Paleontology in person and see some of these amazing fossils for yourself.